let's just give you a summary of what uh, who said what which person or who gave you the definition of economics like adam smith wealth definition he was the first person to define economics and he defined economics as wealth he is also called as the father of economics because he was the first person to let the people know let the world know what economics is and what he said economics is an inquiry into the causes and nature of wealth of nations jbc also said the same thing it is a science which deals about wealth so he also gave you the wealth definition dr alfred marshall he gave you the definition of welfare material well being definition wherein he said economics is not only about economics is not the science which deals only with wealth it is a science which deals with welfare also how the society gets benefited from it same was stated by pigou he said economics is a science of welfare and that welfare can be measured in terms of money so measuring rod of money definition was given by pigou and lionel robbins gave you this choice making definition now please note that this is one of the most recognized definitions of economics the choice making definition you have to choose which wants you want to satisfy and which wants you want to forego so he gave this definition because wants are unlimited because wants are unlimited but resources are scarce and those scarce resources are alternative uses so you have to make a choice as to which resource has to be applied for which want so this constant process of choice making is nothing but economics as per mr robbins paul samuelson gave you the definition of growth and development he said economics is a science of choice making but it does not end there those alternative uh, those resources which have alternative uses have to be put to production and then the goods produced are to be finally consumed so he gave you a definition of production and consumption henry smith henry smith told you how you obtain your share how as a consumer you get what you want to consume of what the producers have produced what the society get what the society gets is the total product and how you obtain your share is nothing but economics and finally jacob weiner said economics is for economics too so this ends our presentation on the definition of economics